I am Stefano Passerini, the present director of the Helmholtz Institute Ulm for Electrochemical Energy Storage. That's a subject, a very hot subject right now because batteries are becoming more and more important in the society, especially toward the decarbonization of the energy sources and transportation, especially right now. Uh, batteries are mostly com composed of three elements. These are the two electrodes and the electrolyte, which is in the middle between the two electrodes. What we are doing, we are actually uh, investigating, developing and uh, producing new materials for all these three components. Also, uh, this obviously involves a lot of chemistry. We have to synthesize new materials to investigate them, to understand how they work all together, not only separated. But we are also working uh, on processes, so how to make the battery at the end, okay? In the past, for example, uh, some uh, toxic compounds have been used, and now we are trying to replace these compounds using, uh, for example, uh, bio-waste or water rather than uh, uh, toxic organic solvents and so on. This is uh, what we are doing. So identify material that will make batteries more efficient, more powerful, but also more environmentally friendly and more sustainable. For the next 10, 15 years, lithium-ion batteries, so those that are already uh, commercial, will definitely uh, lead the, uh, the race, okay? But we need to make these batteries more environmentally friendly. As I mentioned before, right now, some materials which are not that friendly are used. So this is the main research going on. Also, obviously, we always want to increase the performance. So we are looking for new materials that would allow even better performance than now. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, about two years ago, we had a chance, together with uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Wolfgang Merens of ZSW, to organize a meeting here in Ulm. Actually, it was one of the last before the COVID crisis. And uh, we invited uh, Professor Whittingham to give a lecture. Professor Whittingham is a very famous scientist in the lithium-ion battery field, and it was really amazing that right after his lecture, he got a phone call from Sweden uh, announcing him that he won the Nobel Prize. So everybody got very excited. We, had, uh, we celebrated him immediately, as soon as possible, I would say. And this was definitely uh, a good day for the research in the battery field. This is the first time that a Nobel Prize has been assigned for the development or, or research on batteries. Anyway, the fact that one of the three Nobel Prize winners was attending a meeting in Ulm is a kind of recognition of the level of research done in Ulm. My ultimate dream is to see all uh, electric cars circulating and obviously to, to solve the environmental problems we are facing now. I should not forget this to train my students. It's very important to generate, to uh, give the chance for a new generation of scientists going in the, uh, toward the same uh, uh, direction. I mean, in the same direction toward the more environmentally friendly behavior of the human society.